Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Welcome again to today's Bible study. Let's pray and then we can look into God's Word. The scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 26, Paul was writing and he said, So I run with purpose in every step. I am not shadow boxing. Paul was actually telling us how he lives his life. He doesn't take unnecessary action. He doesn't go to unnecessary places. He doesn't do things that are irrelevant. He lives a very deliberate and intentional life. And that is exactly how we're meant to live. So let's pray. Father, thank you for today. And Lord, I pray for your people. Help us to live intentional lives. Help us to live lives that are in accordance to our purpose. Help us to live lives that are relevant. That we don't waste our time saying and doing and going to places that are completely irrelevant and not tied to anything that will lead us into a life of productivity in every area. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, we adulate God and we call him all kinds of great names, special names, wonderful names. But I think that one name that we hardly call God is that he is a rewarder because the truth is that God actually rewards. There is payback day with God. And if Jesus has called you to be his disciple and you have actually followed the call of discipleship and done exactly what Jesus asked you to do, which is to obey him, which is to lay down your own ways, your own life, follow him, live in righteousness and holiness, there is a big reward. And God rewards here in time and in eternity. But today I want us to take a look at the reward that God wants us to expect in the life after this. He wants us to expect these great things that will happen to us in eternity. And in eternity, there are so many rewards. But the Bible tells us to look forward to the crowning ceremony because crowns or what we call badges of honor will be given to men. We will not all get the same kind of crown. We are not all going to be the same. How we're going to be in heaven is dependent on the things that you do here. So in heaven, one of the things that's going to happen to us is that we will all be crown that is people who deserve certain crowns will be given to them of course there are so many other awards but i want us to focus on the crowning because the bible talks to us about five different crowns that believers should walk towards and expect to get so the first is a crown of righteousness and bible tells us in second timothy chapter 4 verse 8 he said henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge shall give me on that day and not only to me but unto all them that love his appearing so what it means that this crown is for everyone who loves the appearing of jesus christ and loving the appearance of jesus means you are expecting him to return and you are living in righteousness you are living in holiness you are doing everything that god said you should do because you know that he is coming soon so when you live like that the bible says you love his appearing you are purifying yourself keeping yourself holy because you are the bride of christ and your bridegroom is coming for that alone you are going to be given what is called the crown of righteousness this is also what a disciple will get because it is that disciple that knows that because my lord is coming i can't misbehave i can't live anyhow i have to live righteously so a crown is like a badge of honor it separates you from every other person now apart from the crown of righteousness there is another crown and it is called the incorruptible crown is written in first corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 the bible says and every man that strives for masteries is temperate in all things now they do this to obtain a, a corruptible crown but we do this to obtain an incorruptible crown now what the scripture is talking about is how to get the incorruptible crown and it is given to people who have brought their bodies under subjection they discipline their body they have a lot of self-control they don't live anyhow they have you know subdued their body tremendously they've not yielded to the cravings of the flesh they've not yielded to the loss of the flesh they have brought their body so much under under subjection and the bible says that an incorruptible crown will be given to them let's take a look at another one the crown of life this is one of the highest kind of rewards and it is given to men who have laid down their lives for the sake of the kingdom of god like martyrs or people who lived as though they were even dead 
in Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, Jesus was writing to the church and he said to them, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation for ten days. But be thou faithful unto the end, and I will give you a crown of life. This is given to men who would die for the sake of the kingdom or people who live as though they are actually actually dead. They forget every single thing about this world and they focus primarily on that of our Lord Jesus, the work of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that when you do all of this, you will receive a crown of life. There's another one. It is a crown of glory. This one is reserved for people who shepherd God's people or who pastor or who lead and feed God's people. So in First Peter chapter 5, verse 2 to 4, it says, Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for fitty lucre, that's for money, but of a ready mind, neither as being Lord over God's heritage, but being example of the flock, so that when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory, that fades not away. So you see, this is for people who are feeding God's flock. They are taking charge and they are not doing it because somebody forced them. They are doing it willingly. They are not doing it because they want to get any money. They are not doing it because somebody forced them. They are doing this willingly. They are not holding it over God's people. If you are like that, then get ready. You are going to receive a reward called the crown of glory. There's one more. It is a crown of rejoicing and this is reserved for soul winners. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 19 talks to us about the crown of rejoicing. So if you are going about winning souls, if you are also going about discipling men, then get ready for the crown of rejoicing. These crowns will set you apart when we cross over to the other side. Like I said already, we are not all going to be at the same level, but your level is determined by what you do here on earth. So of course, if you are as a disciple of Jesus obeying the word of God, you are obviously going to be more decorated and giving more honor than the average person who you know was basically just going to church and coming back so there is payback day there are so many other rewards i'll be given in heaven but today we've looked at the different crowns it is something to target it is a benefit of being a disciple of the lord jesus let me remind you 25th and 26th of february is a night of power it's not what you should miss. God has made you in charge of situations and circumstances of life. But you look at many people's lives, they are not in charge. They don't seem to be in charge. What is the reason? We're going to find out in the night of power. And beyond that, there will be a demonstration of the power of God over every situation and circumstance of life. So date again, 25th and 26th of February. The venue is at the Oak House Church, 112 commercial avenue it is off about macaulay road you have our lagos you can also view online on instagram handle is weeks our fred free conference call is another way you can view the handle is prophetic virtual and you can also follow us on youtube the handle is the oak house church it starts at 5 p.m gmt plus one don't miss it your life is about to take a dramatic turn god bless you for other life-changing messages you can now download the app rev or Yeek speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred.